Hello and welcome to TU TV News, where the news is always fresh and never frozen. I'm Sam Moody. And I'm William Bennett. We're back and better than ever in 2019, so let's get started. Scientists have recently discovered a way to reprogram plants and optimize photosynthesis. Plant biologist Don Ort and his team were able to genetically engineer tobacco plants and increase growth by up to 40%. In response to why he focused on this aspect, Ort replied, quote, we really need to be able to manipulate photosynthesis because it's really all that's left, end quote. Plants currently spend a lot of energy compensating for oxygen molecules, which were not present billions of years ago. The complex process of getting rid of oxygen ends up reducing crop yields by up to 50%. To compensate, Ort and his scientists inserted new genes to create a processing shortcut, which they hope to use on other crops as well. A winter storm swept across the country this weekend, dumping over a foot of snow in some areas and causing traffic fatalities. The storm hit the Midwest and on Friday and Saturday, giving Missouri and Kansas the brunt of the weather. Multiple power outages occurred across the area and dozens of flights were canceled or delayed in St. Louis and Columbia, Missouri. According to Na the National Weather Service, the two cities saw 12 inches and just over two feet of snow respectively. As the storm moved past the Midwest, the Mid-Atlantic faced a winter storm warning until Sunday afternoon. This prompted a state of emergency in Virginia where another seven to eight inches of snow was expected. Netflix is facing a lawsuit over the use of the phrase choose your own adventure in its recently released film, Black Mirror Bandersnatch. ChooseCo, the publisher of the classic choose your own adventure books, announced the lawsuit on Friday. Co-founder Shannon Gilligan argues that quote, the use of choose your own adventure in association with such graphic content is likely to impact our book sales and affect our ability to work with licensing partners, end quote. A copy of the lawsuit revealed that Netflix and ChooseCo began licensing negotiations in 2016, but never finished an agreement. Netflix also received a cease and desist letter from the publishing company prior to the release of Bandersnatch. ChooseCo is seeking $25 million in damages. That's crazy what these companies are doing with phrases nowadays, trying to trademark them and make it where nobody else can use them. I know, like, choose your own adventure sounds like such a generic phrase. It's crazy that some company can just come in and say, no, you can't use that unless you pay us. Like, I understand a little bit of where Choose Co is coming from because of, like, well, their yeah, the graphic brand. content in the books and right. stuff. Right, I heard, like, lots of parents were calling in and very confused. Like, I don't know why they think Bandersnatch is connected to that, but I guess I understand it. I mean, it's like companies trying to trademark their names whenever it's as simple as Sky, and you can't, like, release it in those countries because of one word. Right, like, I could trademark Hello, but that's not really promoting my brand. It's just trying to steal money. But, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching TUTV News. Uh, tune in next week. I'm Sam. And I'm William. Thanks for watching.